Hello, it's Jesse Green, D619 Nerd, and this is The Flash. Um, episode 2, The World's Fastest Man. Um, it starts out with Flash um, saving a bunch of people from a burdened building, um, which is very cool. Then he's late to a, to a, a there was a shooting at a gun shop, and um, he gets there and he, he forgot to change his clothes, so he has to go to a, a uh, men's store, he still had the, 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 the tag on. But he checks it out, and he sees, like, ten, kind of like, sh uh, Sherlock, I guess, where he sees stuff, and then he knows that it's, uh, six guys, all, all ten, all wear ten size shoes. Which, uh, when I first watched it, I knew it had to be a guy who can multiply himself. Um, but this episode has, uh, Bill Snyder? Hopefully I'm saying it right. He's in, he was in Iron Man 3, he was the president, Shawshank Redemption, uh, he literally kicked the ass of, uh, um, McLean from Die Hard 2. He's awesome. He plays a, a, a guy, he receives a award for... Man of a year, and the same crew attacks him or tries to attack him, but Eric uh, Barry Allen um, keeps getting these dizzy cells. So when he tries to chase him, he fainted, and then they figure it out. And what's the funniest scene is when he was running on a treadmill and he fell, what's that? Fell back, and um. Uh, fell back and hit the wall and they figured out he needs to nourish himself because he's not eating right uh, which is actually I think it's actually from the comic and that was in Justice League that he had to eat a lot of stuff because it, it will take it out of you um, so they figured out who it was uh, Bill Snyder's character um, stole uh, a bunch of, uh, stole this guy, he, basically he was, um, um, Mr. Freeze, but not with Freeze power. Uh, his wife got sick, so he tries to, uh, actually it's basically, um, Heart of Ice, the episode of Mr. Freeze in the Batman animated series, basically, uh, with so yeah, so he tried to attack him, he killed his security guy, um, um, Flash had to fight him at one point, he got his ass handed to him, and this is where it gets, because throughout most of the episode, he, oh, I, I, I need to help people, I can do this, help, let me do it, but when he gets his ass handed to him, he, oh, I can't do this. No, I, I'm, um, I can't do it. Flash no more. It's basically Spider-Man. Or, yeah, well, actually, Spider-Man issue three when he got his ass kicked by Doc Ock, but that goes without saying. Um, no, and uh, also, uh, Joe, his, his surrogate father, uh, says, no, you can't do this. Uh, you're not bulletproof. You shouldn't do it. Gives him doubt. And then, um, Tom Cavanaugh's character, which I forget his name, sorry, um, said, hey, you need to nur nourish him, or, uh, encourage him, because he got this doubt, and that's gonna get him killed. Um, and then you have flashbacks to younger Barry running away, hey, you know, my father, and I, I want to see him. His father is the one that actually told him not to to uh, visit him, cause uh, you know, trying to move on. And at one point, Barry says, "Yes, you fed me, clothed me, uh, did my homework. You're you're basically my dad." Um, uh, which and then um, he f sees his uh wall of weird. I guess you could call it from Smallville. Uh. And then he said, I got it wrong. 
all these here, and I'm gonna try to help you. Really good. Um, then um, Tom Kavanaugh um, literally just stands up in front of a. Uh, uh, oh wait, and before I forget, uh, you have to. The only way you can find to do the same thing was find the real guy and beat him there. They and they did, and there's like a thousand CGI characters. He found the right one, knocked him out. He was captured. Oh no, he, he no, no, he fell. Yeah, he literally fell over an edge and he tried to. Slash tried to save him, but he couldn't because uh, he failed. That's right, that's right. And um. Lily, uh, at the end, and uh, Bill would make fun of Tom Cannon. Out there. Oh, don't get up. Being a dick, pretty much. Well, he gets up, and then he knifes him, because he wanted to take Barry, or the flag, and, like, have, like, I don't know, recreate him, like Super Soldier, I guess. But he knifed him and killed him. And that's the end of the episode. Um... Really nice. You get to see uh, um, the Flash from the 90s do a great job. I believe he was also Dawson's dad, so don't don't quote me on that. Um, really good episode. Uh, fun. It's a fun show. It's uh, what we wanted uh, 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 Smallville to be. And granted, he still has to go up against uh, crypto we crypto villain of the week. Like in Smallville, but it has more, um, more stat. Um, and it's also a fun show. Um, there's probably other hints that I didn't recognize. And I forgot that in the first episode, uh, they had to, uh, see how fast he could really run. Was that Ferris Airfield, which I forgot to mention. There's probably tons of them, but I didn't see it. Or didn't recognize them, and they can't even um until the end. And I totally forgot what the name. Sorry, but they f gave the guy a name after he was already gone. So fun episode. Um, I liked it. I give it a three, a three out of five. Still up there. I think I liked the first episode more. But it had more uh, uh, Easter eggs that I could see. Um, this is Jesse Green. This is D619 Nerd. Signing off.